All right, so just before we start this video, I just want to say thank you for the last three videos. If you haven't seen them, then go check them out. But they've done very, very well, and I just want to say my appreciation for that. I do appreciate it. I know I don't upload a lot of content recently, but I'm trying to get as much as I can out. But either way, into today's video, we've got five skills that get the ball from the floor up in the air. And these are five that you guys can use at home. They are a bit more advanced than the ones that we have done recently, but uh, hopefully you can practice them at home and get them down to a tee. If you are enjoying this type of content, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and comment down below your favorite skill. But let's get into it. All right, so the first skill, we're gonna get straight into it. We have the rainbow flick, and it might seem like I'm starting at one of the harder ones. This is actually one of the easy ones of the five. You guys are probably aware of how the rainbow flick works. You normally use it when you're beating a defender head on, if it's one versus one, or even one versus two, if you can get it over both defenders. It's three movements. The first bit's probably the hardest part, and that's to just get used to lifting the ball up from the floor. So I used to practice it when I first didn't know. I used to put my heel on my left foot, which was my weaker foot, and the inside of my stronger foot together. So it'd be like that. That's how I practice it. It's like a 90 degree angle. My stronger foot would be facing sidewards, and my weaker foot would be in the direction of the place I want to go. So the first bit, once you've got that, you're gonna lift the ball up your leg like this. That's all you need to do. Just like practice getting the ball up your leg like that. Very simple. And then we're gonna try and allow the ball to flick up high so that we can catch it on the back of this weaker foot, as you'll see right now. Just like that. So you see how my back leg comes up? I'll face this way. So as it's rolled, that back leg is flicking it with the heel and the ball's going up in the air. Now, right now, the ball's not actually going in the direction we want it because that comes into play when we do the motion. But again, the ball's coming up, we're flicking, and it's up in the air. Okay, so the next bit is about the body movement itself now. So you wanna go that direction, you wanna beat the defender there, you wanna get it over their head. So you really wanna throw your body forward to allow the ball to do that motion as well. It's harder to do from a standing position, but I'll try to show you. So you'll see my body, I'm leaning over it. I'm leaning into the defender, so that that way, the ball goes this way. And then when you put a little bit of a jog into it, a little bit of movement into it, that's when you can get the ball up and over. Just like that. If you're struggling with the height on this skill and you're trying to get the ball higher and higher because it's not going high enough, that's just pure technique. But if you're focusing on the ball direction, that's all about your body position. So the technique allows the ball to get high, as you can see, and your body movement allows the ball to go in that direction. So leaning over will allow the ball to go the direction in which I'm going. Now one last time before I bring a defender in. So the ball's over and up and over. Just like that. So brought a defender in. I'm going to try and go that direction. Again, using your body movement and the technique that we've learned, we're going to try and get the ball up and over. So as you're approaching, up and over, and it's touched down just like that. Now it will take a lot of practice. It's kind of an advanced skill, but you'll get there in the end. Yep. <coughs> All right, so the next skill that we're going to be doing, I don't actually have a name for it. So if you guys have got any names, I'll put it down in the comment section. I'm not that good with names and I'm not sure if there's already a name for it. I called it the air triangle just because in the way you move, it's kind of like a triangle. So the first movement is just rolling up to your leg, just like that. So that first bit is just lifting over to my right hand side because I'm flicking up my left. Once you've got that down, once you can do that, no worries. You can kind of practice by catching it in your hand if you want to. Just practice by doing that. Once you've got that down, we're then going to be using the outside of our foot to then flick the ball over the defender. So the second movement is this, just like that. Obviously with more tempo, more pace to beat that defender, but I'm just trying to show you for now. So the flick up is the first bit, knock is the second bit, and then your movement is your third bit. The knock's actually the easiest part. You just have to make connection with the outside of your foot in the direction you want to go. You can choose to go to the left more, to the right more, or just straight on. So then we go on to the movement of the body. The movement is kind of similar to the rainbow flick. You want to really push yourself forward. So then you're ready to pounce and get in behind the defender. So I'm leaning forward as I'm doing this bit to then go that direction. Quite simple. I don't know whether this is more simple than the rainbow flick or whether I've just practiced the rainbow flick more, but you guys can let me know. Roll a flick over the head and you're running behind. I'm trying to put these in order of like beginner to advanced, even though they're all kind of advanced, I'm trying to go from easy to the hardest. I think the next one in its ranking is the Neymar flick. It might seem more simple now, but when you actually do the skill and try to get the pace and power in behind, that's when the actual difficulty of the skill comes in. So again, it's three movements. A lot of these floor to air movements are three. So the first bit is obviously trapping it between your legs. 
that's what Neymar loves to do. You make sure that you can get really good grip. You don't want it sliding out your feet or out the back or anything when you try to do the skill, otherwise you'll look stupid. But you want to really catch it between your feet like that and make sure you've got a good grip to the point where the ball won't go anywhere, as you can see. Then you want to choose what direction you want to go. Now I like to do it pushing it over to the right so then I can dribble my right foot because obviously that's my stronger foot. But you can do it both directions. I'll just move back. You can see it's got good grip. Once you've trapped it, the next movement is the actual lift of legs. So it's just like that. You see how my legs came out to the side? It was like a jumping out to the side movement. Now watch my body when I do this. Again, my chest is leaning over the ball to give the ball a bit extra movement going forward in the direction I want to go. So there's your third movement, which is your body again. So catch, practice that. Just practice jumping up the ball if you want to, just like that. Then once you've got that, practice the flick up. So jumping, catch like that. My body was quite straight, so now I need to practice the movement. So all three in one, jumping up the ball, movement and the body, and you're up and away, just like that. So the fourth skill now is probably the favorite of the four so far that I like to do. I used this in a video recently about my five favorite skills to use in a game. If you guys want to check that out, you can click it on the screen right now or you can see it in the description. It's going to be a skill that you've got your back facing the defender this time, which is different to all the rest of them. This is the first skill that we've learned today that your back's going to be actually facing the defender when they're closing you down and you need to get out and away from them. So you're going backwards this time. There's actually four movements with this skill as well, which is obviously different to the first three. So it's a lot more difficult than the rest of them. So the first movement, defender's gonna be on my back, is getting yourself balanced. So you want your feet facing the right way. So this is how my feet are looking. My feet are quite straight. I'm blocking the defender. They can't get around me. Once you've got that sort of position behind the ball, so once the ball's in position, you're holding the defender off. The second bit is dragging the ball up your feet, just like we were doing with that one. But this time we're gonna be using the back of our heel and going backwards. So we're holding the defender off, first movement. Second movement is that, into that area. So it's onto your strong foot. So holding the defender off, dragging up, and it's a flick like that in behind. So I'm holding the defender off, the defender be here. I'm dragging it up and flicking it with the back of the heel coming towards or going backwards towards the goal. This is a really useful one for strikers and wingers that are really trying to go forward with a bit of creativity. Now the fourth skill again, is just body movement. It's your spin that you do after. You wanna really spin the defender. You'll see it better in the example when I get Elliot in to defend. So I'm holding the defender off, my feet are facing forward, dragged flick, and a spin around and you can take the ball and finish. Obviously I'll do it a lot faster pace against Elliot so you can see it properly, but that's just the movement right there. Let me show you one more time on the side. Pulling the defender off, my feet are straight, as you can see. The ball gets dragged, flick over, spin, and you're in, as simple as that. Okay, now I've left this fifth skill open to an opportunity for you guys at home. Now I get quite a lot of stuff sent on Instagram and email and stuff of you guys doing skills at home and I love that, I want to see more of it. So today we're going to get a fifth skill done by you. Show me a floor to air move that you guys have learned wherever it might be in training, at home, yourself, whatever. Might have been from one of my videos in the past, I'm not sure. But just tell me one of them and show me on Instagram. Uh, follow me on Instagram, it's Mikey McGee, it's on screen right now. You guys can go follow that. It's also in the link in the description below. Once you guys send them all in, I'll choose my favorite one and I'll feature it in a video and also practice it myself and shout whoever it was out in the video as well. So look out for that video. If you are sending the videos in, yours might feature in a future video. Yep.